I want to right every wrong. Together as one, we can right every wrong. I want to right every wrong. Together as one, we can right every wrong. I want to right every wrong. And together as one, we all can right every wrong. I want to right every wrong. Together as one, we can right every wrong. I want to right every wrong and together as one, we can right every wrong. I want to right every wrong. And together as one, we can right every wrong. I want to right every wrong. Together as one, we can right every wrong. Hi, I'm Tavleen Mandirata and I'm a Rex Karambil Global Fellow. I'm Dr. Meetu Khurana and I'm a Rex Fellow. Hi, I'm Dipika Narayan Bhardwaj. I'm a Rex Fellow. My name is Ishita Katyal. I'm a Rex Fellow. Manju Lata Kalani Di on stage, please. Manju is the creator and promoter of the Rice Bucket Challenge. She's extended the Rice Bucket Challenge across India. People from overseas have also participated, and we're proud that we are partnering with Rice Bucket Challenge now to promote this further and keep the movement relevant and current. So Manju, Lata Kalani Di for you. Hello, everybody. That was an amazing performance. Uh, whenever we see somebody good-looking and hot, what do we call them? Sexy? Right? So what should we call people who've done some great job and here to receive the Rex Fellowship? Rexy. So I think uh, everybody here is Rexy <laughs> because they're doing some amazing work. Anyway, uh, I've chosen, uh, actually I was supposed to be in Mumbai today to receive another award, but uh, I chose to be here. Uh, life is all about the choices we make. That's what I feel. Every morning when we wake up, in fact, now uh, there's going to be a tea break and uh, we're going to decide, am I going to have coffee? Am I going to have tea? Should I have this jeera biscuit or should I have the glucose biscuit? And we decide something. And uh, when we got the invite for the Rex Fellowship, we decided, is it worth it? Should I go? What does it mean? Again, we made a choice to be here. And uh, when we get a network for a phone, we decide what is the incoming, what is the outgoing, what is the 2G pack? Again, we make a choice. So we make lots of choices in life. So why the hell don't we make a choice when we have to decide between the positive and the negative things in life? Why do we often gravitate towards the negative things? Why do we focus on complaints? Why do we focus on blaming others? So today, I'm here to say that positivity matters a lot. When we start thinking positive and focus on the positive, it leads to a lot of solutions. All of you must have heard about the, heard about the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Have you heard of it? Yes, because it was promoted by a lot of uh, celebrities. Um, even I saw a lot of videos and well, it's a good cause. Definitely something apt for the uh, American demographic. Essentially, it was a challenge that was put up online in which uh, people had to sort of either donate to this uh, ALS disease uh, or they had to sort of promote the cause in which they had to put a, a bucket of water, ice cold water, put up a video. Now a lot of Indians saw this video and some of them liked it, some of them took it up, some of them shared, some of them did it without knowing what it was. When I saw it, I said, great cause, but why should we do it in India? We had bigger uh, causes to talk about. Then I chose that instead of just stopping at sharing and saying, oh, what is this, how annoying, I thought, I should let this thought translate into action. So I was discussing with my husband Vijay, who has been very eloquent <laughs> through all the three days. Uh, we just sort of discussed and I thought, instead of ice bucket challenge, let me just do the rice bucket challenge. Let's donate a bucket of rice to somebody who's needy and see what happens. Let this be our Desi version. So I just simply translated that little thought into an action. We bought a bucket of rice and gave it to somebody in our neighborhood. And uh, he was a very deserving person. He was an old guy who works hard. And uh, I said, OK, folks, this is my rice bucket challenge. Who wants to be part of this? And I think people really connected with it uh, at a very grassroots level. First, it started with the like, comments, shares. And then within a day, I saw that somebody in Chennai said, OK, I'm part of Rice Bucket Challenge. I'm donating three bags of rice to this Little Drops orphanage. Then somebody uh, in uh, Delhi says, OK, we are from Noida, and we like it, so we are taking it up. So it started, and uh, this started in August 22nd. And uh, 
with then I think the media picked up the story. We had lots of international media doing stories. And uh, within about uh, 25 days, we got 65,000 likes on our Facebook page. Thank you. And uh, I was like, at that point of time, I was thinking, no, it's not likes that I want. I really didn't start it because I wanted to be liked and all that. And I was hoping that at least 65,000 kilos of rice get donated. And today I'm proud to say that over 1 lakh kgs of rice had got donated. A lot of corporates, a lot of colleges, a lot of campuses have joined. They all said we are part of this Desi challenge. So just to explain to you, this challenge involves donating one bucket of rice, when actually you don't have to do one bucket. You can do whatever amount of rice you want to, to somebody deserving. I'm not saying go and give it to beggars, but somebody deserving, somebody hardworking, give them some rice, because India is a rice-loving country, we are a rice-eating country, and everybody would have to appreciate it. So give it to somebody deserving, put up a photograph. Well, we put up photographs when we get a new haircut, we put up when we get a new handset, so why not this? Put up and say, I gave it to this guy, now you do it. You must be having 500 friends on your Facebook. Can't you tag 10 people? Yes? So that's how we start this chain. And um, as of today, a lot of countries have uh, adopted this. Philippines has been extremely active. Uh, they've been co collaborating with me. Turkey has been active. A lot of Indians living in Singapore have done it. So uh, basically, I think... Uh, a lot of people ask me, uh, how are you going to promote? I think the Rice Bucket Challenge is like a home video that I made and it's already reached the 100 crore club. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's one thing. Now, when we're talking about translating thoughts into actions, I've always found that we think about what should the government do? What should the municipality do? What should Modi do? What should uh, Pranab Mukherjee, he's been sitting in Rashtrapati Bhavan, come on, let him do something. But how many of us do something from the I point of view? What do I do? Here there are so many women and I could see whenever there's a rape that happens or some kind of harassment on women, we all share it online and we like rhetoric, there's a lot of rhetoric. What is this? Women are not on even pays. Even today we don't have security. I would like to ask how many women here carry a pepper spray with them? Very, very small number. How many of you have a safety app in your phones? Again a very minor number I would say. So basically, we all talk about what everybody else should do without talking about what I can do. So what I, we expect our teenage son to tell us where we are going, what he's doing. We, we tell him, Are phone charge ke rakho. Uh, is there money in your phone to call me? And uh, tell me when you're going. But how many of us take the effort from our end to remain safe? So basically, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to tell you is that everything begins with I. If you see the word initiative, it has the word I in it. And India, let us spell the word India, I-N-D-I-A, right? There are two I's in India. So here we are talking about changing the country. Let it begin with I, let it begin with I. Yeah, so just to conclude, um, uh, guys, I hope you, you please check out the page, uh, facebook.com uh, slash rice bucket challenge. Please read about it. I'm not seeking any, do any donations or any money. I want you to be inspired. I want you to be motivated to do the rice bucket challenge and take this very desi challenge. In case you want to take up other causes, we have also started another page called uh, 100 Charity Causes. You can choose a cause that is close to your heart and see, collaborate with us. Let us know what work you're doing and we'd be glad to sort of promote it on the page. Thank you very much. Manjula, this is not a question. I, yeah. uh, it's a pleasure to meet you personally because I took it up from your rice bucket challenge and we had a blow your trumpet in my office. I put a bucket and I said, put rice, put dal, put sugar yeah. and blow your trumpet and show people I've done something Super. good. And we collected about 800 kgs of stuff. Super. So there we power. have a rice bucket hero and a karma meal hero. Thank you so much. I think everybody of you has sort of joined this mission and I hope it won't stop here. Uh, it's been about eight, nine months, so let's say we've created a baby and it's time to sort of deliver it. I hope that everybody reads the page and sort of takes part in it. I mean, this is about ideas, you know, turning into action. Yeah. And uh, thank you Transitioning so much. Transitioning from thought to action. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And happy happy to say that Manju is going to be a Rx Carmel Global Fellow and we were the first to kind of reach out to her yes. and nominate her for the award. Yes. And now she's yes. been nominated for many more awards. Yes. And I'm happy, but, uh, happy to know Terry that. But was the first one to reach out and recognize my work and that that, that credit definitely 
uh, goes to him. And uh, I also thank a lot of media people. In fact, my colleague, uh, uh, journalistic colleague, Mr. Apaji, had done the magic of uh, writing the first story. It was uh, Apaji's yes. article. Yes, yes. Yeah. It was his yeah. article that sort of uh, triggered a lot of stuff. So media has been very kind to me. And thank you everybody who's joined me in this. And I hope all of you won't stop at liking the page. You know, you've all seen that Salman Khan movie, Jai Ho, where he says, thanks, mat bolo. Help karo. So, yeah, that, that, but I won't give it to Salman. That is not Salman Khan's concept. That is Ralph Waldo Emerson's yeah. concept. It's called Pay It Forward. Right. Yeah, Salman right. messed it up. Anyway, yeah. that's a different <laughs> question. But that, that's called Pay It Forward. Yeah. Where, what, what Ralph Waldo Emerson said is that when I do good towards somebody, I don't expect him to do anything back for me in return. But yes, I do expect that he will pay it forward to at least three more people. Yes. And this was made into a movie with Haley Osmond, who was the child from Sixth Sense. And we've used the same principle for the fellows, yes. where we say gift it forward. You've been gifted the fellowship by somebody. Please gift it forward by contributing a little money so that we can sustain this movement, so that we can bring in those fellows that you have nominated. Again, it's the three. And that's where the tree comes in. And a lot of you have made those contributions and happy to announce that since Manju's uh, you know, triggered this thought that uh, once you make a contribution to the gifted forward, you get to grow your tree of fellows, yes. which means you can see your fellowship tree growing. I've shown you the tree last evening and I'll show it to you again. You also get to nominate from next year two of your family members or friends who you can bring in as companions and guests to the gathering, to the Rex gathering. And this year you're getting one book. But from next year onward, this is a collector's item book. I only, these are not sold over the stores. Uh, these are given only to people who donate 7,500 rupees and above in places where I speak and train. And that's how I raise money for several causes that I espouse. But these are being given to you without any cost today. Those of you who have made the contribution to the Rex gift tree, yeah? Please collect your books from uh, Colonel Datta and Honar before you go. Yeah? Thank you so much.